Hello everyone, my name is Ellen and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do some really loose watercolor abstract study on like thistles. Um, you know, when you do a study, you don't have to make them perfect and it's kind of fun to play with paint and moving around and splashing it and all that kind of nonsense. So, I, so I'll show you how I do this and how you could do this as well. So if you're stuck and you're like, hmm, I don't know what to do, here's an idea for you to do if you haven't done it before. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so so you know my tutorials are up. Also check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier. It's just a place people go and support my channel. I also added a Facebook group where we do weekly challenges and monthly giveaways. And yeah, people have a lot of fun over there on Facebook. You can join and cancel anytime and you can find the link in my description box. So without further ado, let's get painting an abstract thistle flower, having fun, getting loose with paint, wet on wet, and all that good stuff. Okay, so let me go over supplies. I just have a piece of, excuse me, I have a block of Fabriano Aquarello 100% um, cotton cold pressed paper. It's bright white. Um, I have a reference photo of thistle, but you know, you pretty much know what that looks like. I'm just kind of like cutting it in half so you can kind of see. So they have like a bulbous like, almost like a circle on the bottom. Some of them do. And you have these like blooms that kind of just spray out like little tentacles kind of poking out like that. And then we have the stems with the little funky little leaves. They're just very pointy little leaves. So you don't have to paint like when you're doing abstract type of flowers. You look at the flowers for reference and you just kind of get the inspiration from them of the colors and the shape of the leaves and the movement of a photograph you see, but you don't paint it exactly to the T, right? I'll be playing with my Princeton 8 Long Round Velvet Touch series, my 12 Neptune, um, to create that. So I kind of just kind of sketched in like, see, just like the half moon here, kind of stems kind of where I want to kind of place them, but that's about it, right? Then we're just going to start to play with paint and color. So I've already mixed ultramarine blue with bright rose here, and here is like a chartreuse green with just cadmium yellow deep and some peacock blue, and we're just going to play with throwing in some color and then just doing all the details with the long round making kind of loose right taking the number 12 and I've got this bright rose watered down and I'm just gonna kind of put it see really loose where you'd see the top of that flower kind of coming out right that's why I placed it where I did and drew it where I did but we're not gonna make it perfect just putting some like really loose kind of paint wet on dry going like this this should take no time at all. She's so a little blobs and then you take the tip of the brush and kind of wiggle it out. Kind of go on the side a little bit. See that? Oh, <laughs> hitting my light. And then you can probably put some down here if you want to put a bloom down here. I didn't draw it, but you know, the tip is great. You can still kind of wisp out some little lines. You see that? Now I can go in and add that purplish pink. Still kind of like wet on wet. Just tapping it in with the tip of the brush you can kind of wisp out some lines in the dark and excuse me in the areas that are not wet see how i did that we'll go back in and add some more pinky tones i can add some pink with some bright rose excuse me bright rose with some cadmium red light to change the color of the pink a little bit make it more of a rose or you can get it really concentrated See, I'm just going to tapping in the color here. I'm putting out a little bit of wisps. Still wet, and then wisps. See that? We're just really having fun at this moment. I'm not getting serious. And it's really just, I just barely touching the paper, right? And I'm grabbing thick out of the tube that's a little bit wet now, and kind of putting that in there and wisping out. See, wisp, wisp. It's just, I'm just like dancing on the page. Do, do, do. You can get a little darker again still. Maybe add some uh, magenta. Right, and then we can have, um, I'm gonna make some burnt umber and some Payne's Gray with the magenta. And get this kind of funky color. So if it's too thick, tap it on your paper towel. I'm just going to add that deep dark color in there on the left side. 
see now it's getting more and more detailed now we'll just start to work on the bottom little bulbous things I think I'm gonna make those more of like you know this green but adding some paints gray some Prussian blue some Cabin Yellow Deep you get that dark green but it doesn't have to be super green I'm gonna add some more paints gray and a little burnt umber, burnt umber. Take a deep color green get that really loose now we're going to just start to play with that little bulby area I'm going to add more thicker gray actually just kind of tapping that in really quick see do do really just kind of loose tapping those in you can add some more deeper gray or green. I'm gonna make some darker green. Adding more dark, deep dark green. They do have these little wisps on the side, so you can kind of do those. Here I'm just use, still using the twelve Neptune wisps. Just like that. You can start to just put some stem down. See how I just pull it down really fast? Get that energy going. Now I'm going to switch up. I'm going to grab that chartreuse color that I mixed up. I'm still using the Neptune. I was going to switch to the eight long round, but the brush seems to be doing really well with the tip, so I'm going to continue with it. I'm going to come pull down this color. I'm making some of the greens in here and leaves you can just kind of go whoosh, up over and down add a little green to that that's all we're doing we're just kind of crisscrossing adding in some greens see how loosely I'm doing this this is supposed to be a really quick kind of sketch a sketch is not supposed to be something that you do perfectly. It's just really quick and fast. I'm getting some darker color in here. Get some more yellow to make it more green. Brown. Okay. Again, wisping out some lines, the um, the stems. Getting that energy back. Grabbing a little bit on my brush of the paints gray. And that's kind of how you're going to play around with this. Two seconds for that. And then from there, you can kind of get more, you know, get some more energy going, right? I might put some more greens out this way. Wiggle, wiggle. You can add some more blooms. If you feel like it's not enough, I might go back in and maybe put like a little one here. You know, get that black color. Maybe another one down in here, peeking through. And I'll add the pinks to that. Still using this Neptune brush. It might bleed a little bit with that one, still, because it's very wet. But let's see what happens, right? I got that bright rose. Might add some of that ultramarine blue, because some of the thistles can be purple and some can be pink. And even here, if it's a little damp, I'm gonna go back in here Still using this brush, Neptune. Some purple, getting some purple kind of color tones on the left hand side. Gonna grab some pink. If you didn't want it super purple. Play with your paint. Oh, I grabbed the green. <laughs> See, I'm just kind of wisping. Woo! Kind of funky, wispy. Just barely touching the paper. And you get that fun thistle. Grab some of the purplish blue, ultramarine blue. Still damp on some of these, which is great because it kind of bleeds and has another round of just changing color, which I love. Grabbing some ultramarine blue because I'm loving the look of that blue in there. And then these ones are a little bit darker. Right, you can just put some peeking through back here and you can add the bulbous part later. 
or just put some color down. So I'm going to grab some pink, water it down, putting that color in there, just playing with the color, just loving all that energy that's going on. This one here, a little too purple. I'm going to add some more pink. That's kind of how you do this. Now, when that's all dries, I'm going to go back over again with the either this brush in the long round and put like more intentional um, bloom marks. Now I can take my brush, kind of wisp around here with some water, grab some pink, kind of go out here, go out this way a little bit. You can do some splattering, which we love. intentional splattering it's just giving it more energy now I might switch to the long round to grab some more chartreuse kind of color green playing around with this color and I'll probably splatter some of that up oh, it's not chartreuse enough it needs more yellow just gonna do some like wisps out here, up around. Again with those leaves. See how I just crisscross them out like this. You can grab some of the darker green also. How about even some pink in there? <laughs> Let's put some more pink down below. Really, this is not taking much time at all, right? So now we're going to wait till this dries. We can go and splatter some green too, by the way. We didn't do that. And then just really kind of pretty, simple, like really quick um, floral. If this is getting too much here, you can just kind of lift it up a little bit. If you don't like it, you can always wipe it away with paper towel. But I'm liking the energy of it. All right, so at this point, I don't like the black in here kind of swooping in. I'll add in some more pink. Or I can just take my 12 and kind of mush that color. And then I can go back and add it. I'm going to let it dry and then go add some more detail. All right, so I grabbed the Princeton 8 long round. At this point, you can make some more detail. I'm going to mix some colors here. And then you can do actual little wisps that you can actually see. So I'll zoom in a little bit closer. Really kind of thick paint here. See, you do the little wisps. You don't need to do it everywhere, but it's nice to have them. Kind of crisscrossing, going like this. Really just having those wisps come out so you can see them. Just makes it legit thistle. And a little purple. All that kind of fun stuff. And that's all you kind of do. You kind of just tweak these little bloom parts. Just adding a little thicker kind of paint here. Ooh. And down here. You don't have to do this. It's what I'm doing. A little purple on this one. And a little tweaks of the, the thistle. Right? And you can get the details of some of these little the bulbous areas, you know, go around here and kind of tweak those. They kind of have little fuzzies to them too and stems and add more stems if you want. You know. Don't be, don't be shy. I'm going to add some pink color in here. Get creative. No one says it has to be all one note. If you want a bright green, I only have the chartreuse, but now you can add a medium green, like a bright green in there. Just brighten it up, change it a little bit. Just kind of twisting, 
adding in the stems a little crazy <laughs> and like i said at the end here i'm gonna grab a little green here i'm gonna water the chartreuse kind of color down throw in some color too don't be afraid to like mush this around and throw color in this way this is the number 12 neptune brush see it's kind of going in here and a little yellow it just changes it even more so i might lift this up and kind of drip some paint down here like this get some grays and blacks and browns and kind of going in there like that also you get this energy you feel the energy kind of swooping downward and that was the goal and maybe you want some pink swooping upward you know See, it's like all in a diagonal. And a little purple. Kind of blow that up that way. And that's that. That's all you do. It really didn't take much time to create this kind of cool look. It's a lot of fun, splattering, moving the paint around, playing, all the different, you know, techniques of just blurring the, the blooms. Don't go too crazy with it. Don't go back in and say, oh, I got to draw all these perfect little, you know, um, little bloom sprays that we have here. Kind of just fix it. Just leave it. Looks good. All right. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> really quick, too. You want to you kind of move quick so that you don't lose the essence of, like, how the energy is. Like, it's a sketch. It's not supposed to be perfect, right? That's the whole point. So I hope this was helpful. You just doing those little wisp, drawing little bulbs. Look at the plants like that way. You start to look at some flowers that you see in nature, poppies or whatever, and do the same thing. Kind of like just get the essence of what they look like, the colors and the feel of them. So you know these have little wisps on them and the poppies would have more of like a rounded kind of petal so you wouldn't have those little spikes. All right, peeps. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you have a fantastic day. Don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when my tutorial is up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We have so much fun over here. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.